Women in Pakistan are killed for supposed illicit relationships, for marrying men of their choice, and for divorcing abusive husbands. They are even murdered by their kin if they are raped, as they are thereby deemed to have brought shame on their family. The truth of the suspicion does not matter. Mere allegation is enough to bring dishonor on the family and therefore justify the killing. It is just the traditions, the customs, where we are going wrong. It is high time that we have to check that. We have to put the rights and the facts straight that honor is not something only attached to a female. The government of Pakistan has taken no measures to end the honor killings and to hold perpetrators to account. It has failed to train police and judges to be gender neutral and to amend discriminatory laws. The sons, the brothers, the friends, men, people who are colleagues, they should stand up, raise their voices and say, yes, they shun violence. They do not approve of honor killing and this is all which should not be considered anymore. In a touching effort to remember the burial alive of five women in Balochistan recently, an exhibition of works by 26 artists titled No Honor in Killing, Making Visible the Buried Truth opened in Islamabad on Wednesday. We are trying to focus the attention of the public, the society, the politicians and everyone else to say that killing women is not a thing of honor. It is ugly. Women are symbol of a family's honor. The isolation of women is completed by the almost total absence of a safe haven. There are few women's shelters and any woman attempting to travel on her own is a target for abuse by police, strangers or male relatives hunting for her. For some women, suicide appears the only means of escape. Independent reports suggest that at least 20% of homicides are in fact honour killings. Despite women representation being the highest in Parliament in decades, more awareness and more education is required through initiatives like this exhibition to stamp out this inhumane and cruel practice. Adil Sabir, Press TV, Islamabad.